Hello, welcome back. We've got Twilight Masquerade. This is going to be my first box. Actually, my first ever packs opened. I haven't even opened an ETB yet. Otherwise, it would be in the background there. I'm waiting to get my hands on my Pokemon Center exclusive one. And then I'll be doing like a regular one and the Pokemon Center one in the same video. Just do a little comparison. Although these days there isn't really much of a difference except for the extra promo, but you know, it's still kind of interesting. All right, so there will be a giveaway, giving away the top hit of the box as I do. All right, so I might go a little bit slow for a few packs just because this is my first time seeing the set. Eevee, Fion, ooh, Perrin, that's a full art. Very cool. I'm not going to be familiar with, like, any of these characters. So, I do want to say, so, I'll give you the TLDR first if you don't want to listen to me. The TLDR is, basically, this is Battle Styles 2.0 is how I'm viewing this set. Now, you may think, well, why is that? That is because, if you remember Battle Styles, <clears throat> excuse me, the DLC for the game came out, Palafin EX, double rare. A DLC came out, and they decided to make the set focused on that DLC Legendary, and then there were, how many, 12, 14 Urshifus in the set? Just across all of the rarities, there was like four alt arts, two of the Vs, because there was Rapid Strike and Single Strike. So it was like four different Urshifu alt arts, and then full arts and, you know, just the regular Vs. So there ended up being, what, like 12 or more different Urshifus in the set. Palafin. Okie dokie. Interesting. There's going to be some new Pokemon in this set because they're from the DLC, I'm assuming. I haven't actually played the DLC. So, now... Oh, the other thing. So they put, like, a bajillion Urshifus in the set, and then they put Tyranitar. And Tyranitar was, like, the only already existing Pokemon. And it was a Gen 2, obviously, and so everyone liked it. And that is by far the highest card in the set. And then fast forward a year. This is basically coming out at the same point in time. Ooh, Scoop Up Cyclone. Man, these Ace Spec cards are really good looking. Very cool. Some of them are quite expensive too. Probo Pass. Illustration Rare. That was kind of a double hit if you count the Ace Spec. Some of them are not bad at all. Some of them are kind of meh. Anyways, uh, fast forward, this was, uh, what, the second set of year two? Battle Styles was also the second set of year two, I think. Or the second, like, main set with actual booster boxes of year two. So they kind of did the exact same thing. Twilight Masquerade, uh, very heavily centered around the DLC Legendary. I think there's actually 13, if I'm correct about that, of, what is the guy? Uh, Ogre Pond, that's the one. Like I said, I haven't actually played the DLC. But there's 13 different Ogre Ponds. Uh, there's like four different masks, and then they have like, so there's four double rares, four full arts, for special illustration rares, and then there's a gold secret rare of one of them. What the heck? There's like a bunch of crud in this pack. The heck? It's all over my playmat now. That was really weird. All right, anyways. Uh, yeah, so basically did the same thing where there's 13 different ogre ponds across a bunch of different rarities, and then they threw in Greninja. And Greninja is already, by far, the most expensive card in the set. Frost Last Reverse. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's a double rare, not or a, a uh, special illustration rare is what I meant. The two gold star. So there's our heart flame mask ogre pawn. Let me see. Is it on the first page? It is. Very cool. So this I'm recording this on release day. Current market price is forty dollars. Current lowest listing is twenty nine dollars. So it's probably going to be closer to the twenty nine dollar mark. But that first special illustration rare of the box could be our giveaway. All right, and then you got a teal mask. Oh, there's even there's even hollow rare versions. So there's what is that? Another four. So that's seventeen. There's seventeen ogre pawns. Ranging from rare all the way up to the gold secret rare. Yeah, so I'm not a huge fan of this set just because it's essentially Battle Styles 2.0. So now you understand my little TLDR. Battle Styles 2.0. I'm not really going to be opening a lot of this set. I only have three boxes. This is the first of three boxes, booster boxes, and then I have, uh, I'm going to do the two ETBs in the same video with the regular ETB and the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. So only four videos on this set total, just because there's like literally two cards in the set that I even like, and one of them is the highest card in the set, and the other one is the Blaziken. Because I think Blaziken is also really cool. Or not Blaziken, um, Infernape. That's the one. The other firefighting starter. And the reason that's funny is because there's like four of them. It's not just the other one. Anyways. <laughs> I'm a little too into Pokemon. I'm way more into Pokemon than I am with Magic the Gathering. Even though I also open Magic the Gathering. And those videos typically do way better than Pokemon on this channel. So, moving right along. How many? We're already seven minutes in. I need to speed it up a little bit. Ooh, Thwacky's in the set. That means Grookey's in the set. Very nice. I actually really like Grookey. I like to kind of choose one of the commons in the set. And I really like Grookey, so I choose that one if there's a Grookey in the set. Wellspring Mask Ogre Pawn EX, double rare. All right, so we've got a decent number of hits now. We've got five and a half. Half point hitter. Ace spec. Actually, I think one of the ace specs is actually on the first page of TCG player right now. Unfair stamp. Let's see if we can get an unfair stamp. All right, core fish. Grookey, there it is. Oh, that's a cute Grookey, too. That's a nice one. I'm going to keep that. All right. Chi Yu, Lucky Helmet, Mighty Aina, Heracross, Reverse, Conkelder, Sinistia. Interesting. It's like a different Sinistee. Cool, cool. New Pokemon. So, is this the first DLC or the second DLC? It's only a year. It's only year two of Scarlet and Violet, right? So it's probably the first DLC, I would guess. Diplin, they added more to that evolution line, apparently. Rillaboom, very nice. Love Rillaboom. Very cool, keeping that one too. Corefish, we've got Full Art Dragapult, not bad at all. This card must be playable. That's the only reason I can think that this card is actually relatively expensive. Like, even the double rare is a few bucks, which is not super common for just double rare EXs. So, Dragapult, full art, not bad at all. Alright, Thwacky, Heliolisk. Festival Grounds, we've got Reverse Chansey, Chi Yu, Chandelure. So that was just a standard no hit pack. Ooh, 
Ooh, Abra. Cool. Leafeon. Twinsies. Girder. Monkey Dory. So, a bunch of the, or at least Leafeon, there's usually more than one. They usually come in like pairs. They don't always pair like the same gen ones together though. Like they don't always pair Leafeon and Glaceon. Mightyena, Laron, Heatran, Hollow Rare. That's cool. It's cool artwork on that Heatran. Take a look at that real quick. Pretty cool. Snorunt, Chimchar, Glimora, Snorlax. We got Tangela, Sea King, Luxray EX. Very cool. Double rare. Running out of. Base. I need to get through these three packs. Still looking for several hits, actually. A couple more illustration rares. Floet, Sunkern, Brute Bonnet, Ambipalm, Bug Catching Set, Tatsugiri, Floet, Alakazam. Very cool. Very cool. Just admiring some of the Pokemon I like, even if they're only hollow rares. All right, Pinsir, Girder, Morpico, Heracross, Brute Bonnet in reverse with the cool ancient foiling. Sunflora, illustration rare. All right. Arcanine for the hollow. Abra, Applin, Snorunt, Clefable, Poltergeist. Interesting. That was what the thing that kind of looked like Sinistee evolved from. Torkoal. Walking Wake with the ancient reverse foiling. All right, second half of the box. We have quite a few hits for the first half. Not bad at all. all right, Snorunt. Chimchar. Polyrath. Shinx. Chandelure, Enamorous, Clefairy, Shinx, Diplin, Kieran, I've got Reverse Swana, Giraffe Rig, and another Teal Mask Ogre Pawn. Maybe there's only the Teal Mask Ogre Pond as a rare. I don't think we've seen any of the other versions as hollow rares. All right, Pinsir, Girder, Brute Bonnet, Ambi Pond, Bug Catching Set, Survival Brace. All right. Very cool looking. A Spec, Nine Tails Reverse, and another Alakazam. Chansey, Tangela, Clefable, Cook, Tangrowth, Hisuian Growlithe, Heatran, on to Sandy Gast in the little uh, crochet artwork, Dreepy, Feebas, Talifin, 
Flucky Helmet. We've got Luxio in reverse. Frogadier. Nice. Screamtail EX for the double rare. Brings us to four double rares. Hopefully not too many more double rares. Let's try to get another... Actually, we have two full arts. Should be something else good, though. Going to get one more illustration rare, and then hopefully a couple more good hits. Something better than a double rare. Ogre's Mask. Reverse. Clefairy. Monkey Dory. Froki, Claymation Froki. All right, Eevee, Phantom, Festival Grounds, Reverse Thwacky, nice. I don't think we've gotten a Reverse Grookey yet. I would like a foil version of that whole line if I can. Infernape, Hollow Rare. Watchroll, Goldeen, Jamming Tower, Glaceon, there it is. I guess they did pair Leafeon and Glaceon for this set. We've got Hassel, Abra in reverse, and Hisuian Arcanine, Hollow Rare. Swirlix, Tad Bulb, Florgis. Castle, got Applin in reverse, Polyrath, Iron Leaves, Hollow Rare. Having quite a few no hit packs. It's a little unfortunate, but we're still expecting a couple good hits. Poochiana, Scolipede, Cook in reverse, Sandy Gast, and Frostlass. Starting off with a Froki, Eevee, Phantom, Carmine, Swanna, Bellabolt. Got Iron Leaves with the future reverse foiling. Halucha and Zapdos. Interesting. The regular Zapdos. Not the Galarian one. Timber, Spinarak, Growlithe, Ambipom, Cook, Accompanying Flute. Interesting. First one of those. Poliwag and Fazandipity. Swirlix, Tadbulb, Applin, Snorlax, Lana's Aid, Leafeon, got Reverse Watchrel, Snorunt, and Ting Lu in this set. Very cool. Next up, Apom, Darumaka, Corfish, Grookey, Clefable, Tatsugiri, Farigiraf, Farfetched, the regular one, in reverse. Kadabra reverse, very cool. First Kadabra, now that they can actually print Kadabra again. Sinistia, full art. There we go, I told you we were expecting something better than a double rare. Very cool. That's our second... Second uh, uh, full art Pokemon. Always nice to see. I would prefer two special illustration rares. <laughs> but maybe that's coming up next. We've got four packs left. Rillaboom, 
handheld fan, pincer in reverse, enamorous, illustration rare? Yes, illustration rare. Interesting. And Alakazam. Move some of this over. All right, three packs left. I went off in the corners just a wrapper. All right, Helioptile, Finizen, Caretaker, Glimmit, Glaceon, Diplin, got Jamming Tower, Vulpix, Sinistia, Hollow Rare. Can we get anything else? Two packs. I've gotten three illustration rares, a special illustration rare. More Peko, Diplin, Sunflora Reverse, Feebas. Oh, Sinistia EX, double rare. All right. Wasn't hoping for a double rare, but I'll take it. It's a hit. Can we get a reverse Grookey? I'll even count that as a personal hit. All right, Ducklet, Nine Tails, Sand Slash, Lucian, Reverse Handheld Fan, Timber, and Chandelure. So that was our box. Let's count up the hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hits, and then two Ace Specs. That's Pretty typical, actually. Neither of our ace specs were the good one. And just making sure that, wow, that Dragapult full art is quite expensive, actually. Um, let me just make sure. Um, yes, so. It appears our special illustration rare is the most expensive, followed by the Dragapult. But this is going to be our giveaway. If you want to win this card, just comment anything down below. About five or six days after this video goes live, I use an online comment picker, chooses a random comment, and that is the winner. And then you just join the Discord. I ask that you uh, write something in Discord and then write that also back on YouTube so I can confirm that you are the actual person. You know, it's not just someone that joined the Discord and was like, hey, I'm that person. You know, I need to confirm it's actually you. So make sure to do that. Make sure to subscribe. I do a giveaway for every opening. And I'll see you guys in the next video.